Even Mickey Mouse gets a day off every now and then. Here are rare days Disneyland never opened its gates to the public. While Disneyland is now popular year-round, it wasn't always this way. In the early days of the park, crowds fluctuated greatly throughout the year with peak crowds during summers and holidays and astoundingly slow days during the off season, especially weekdays. During the off season, Disneyland routinely used to close on Mondays and Tuesdays, a practice which lasted until partway through the 1980s, when Disneyland finally made the switch to staying open 365 days per year. Whenever Disneyland closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, rival Orange County theme park, Knott's Berry Farm, stayed open on those days, but closed down instead on Wednesdays and Thursdays, offering Orange County visitors a theme park option every day of the week. On November 22, 1963, the 35th President of the United States, John F. Kennedy, was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. The country was in mourning, so Disneyland made the decision to stay closed the next day, November 23, 1963 to observe the National Day of Mourning. I was a Disneyland cast member from 1986 to 1996. I loved working on most attractions, my favorites being Pirates of the Caribbean and Space Mountain. But I found working on the submarine voyage to be tedious and boring. Whenever rain came down on the happiest place on Earth, cast members were expected to call in to verify their shifts in case there had been an adjustment made to your work location or start time. When I called in to verify my submarine voyage shift on a stormy December 7th, 1992, lo and behold, not only was my submarine shift canceled, woohoo, the park never opened its gates. While it was definitely a rainy day, the storm was not as strong as anticipated. So my cast member friends and I had a fun day going to lunch and enjoying the rain. A novelty to us Southern Californians. Since Disneyland routinely draws in a year-round crowd, it is unlikely that Disneyland will ever close down for the rain in the future. Plus, now they have the option of shutting down Disney California Adventure for the day by keeping Disneyland Park open. On September 11, 2001, 19 terrorists hijacked four commercial airliners. The first two planes crashed into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. The third plane crashed into the Pentagon and the fourth crashed in rural Pennsylvania. But the intent was to crash into a federal government building in Washington, D.C. Americans were shocked and fearful of what American targets would be next. Could Disneyland and Walt Disney World be next? They are national treasures with a highly concentrated number of Americans and Westerners in a small area. In response to the looming potential danger, neither Disneyland nor the new Disney California Adventure opened that day. However, there is a three hour time difference between Disneyland in California and Walt Disney World in Florida. So on 9-11, guests had already begun entering the theme parks at Walt Disney World. Cast members stood together forming human walls and evacuated the parks. With increased security measures, the Disney theme parks on both coasts resumed operation the very next day. In the year 2020, the highly contagious COVID-19 spread throughout the world and caused a global pandemic. According to the World Health Organization, COVID-19 has resulted in nearly 7 million deaths worldwide, including well over 1 million in the United States alone. At one point in time during the pandemic, Disney shut down all of its theme parks worldwide. Disneyland and Disney California Adventure began their closure on March 14, 2020, and didn't reopen until April 30th, 2021, for a record-breaking 412 consecutive days closed. What day do you remember Disneyland being closed? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, you will love these great videos about Disney. See you in the next one.